We continue to track Tropical Storm Ophelia. Right now, the storm is headed into North Carolina, but it's already kicking up the surf along the Jersey Shore. This is a live look now at Margate, Atlantic County. Storm surge is a big concern for tomorrow. Boy, that is looking rough right there. Yeah, yeah the seas yeah. are going to be way up there. Mm. Waves are going to be measured in feet. You got storm surge one to three feet, the coastal mm. flooding during high tide. There's a lot going oh, on. Yeah. Uh, before we get into that, if you didn't see it tonight, I just want to show you the beauty before the storm. Mm. How about that wow. sunset? And actually, after I snapped that photo, like another three or four minutes, maybe five later, it was even nicer. I was like, wow. really? oh my word. So beautiful out there. Yeah. 658, by the way, is when the sun went down tonight. That's it for the 7 o'clock sunsets until next March, at least 7 or later. So here is the storm. It's still well off to our south, churning about a very clear center of circulation. The outer reaches of that starting to make their way into our region. Notice here, we got a couple of rain showers now down around Atlantic City, moving up through Kent County into Dover. Nothing of significance right now, but watch what happens as we go through the overnight hours. I want to walk you through the localized future cast. And this has been pretty consistent. We've been telling you out the door tomorrow morning, expect it to be raining. And some spots, indicated by the yellows and the oranges, could have some heavy rain. The winds will be around, the rain will be around pretty much all morning long. Here's 9 o'clock, here's noon. Notice that there will be some parts that have some breaks here and there. I don't think it's going to be raining over your home continuously for 36 hours, but you'll get heavy rain. It'll last maybe hours. Then you'll get a little break, and then another wave will move through. You'll get some light rain to some moderate rain, then potentially a little break here and there. But I mean, look, we're all the way down to 8 p.m. tomorrow night. Let me pause this 24 hours from now, dealing with some rain to the north, dealing with some rain to the south. A little bit of a lull in the activity before the second wave moves through Sunday. We wake up Sunday morning to rain. It rains most of the morning on Sunday. If you had any planned Sunday morning, it's going to be pretty much canceled or at least <laughs> seriously impacted with the rain and the wind. But the difference with Sunday is notice these lines, the wind lines. The low pressure itself actually moves through our region, which will taper things off by Sunday night. But as it does, our winds will lessen. Rain. It's going to be a widespread two to three inch rainmaker through a good portion of our area. A little bit less, you folks off to the west, a little bit more, you folks to the east. In fact, some spots down the shore could see over four inches of rain. Now, this is not law, this is a forecast model, but it's been pretty consistent with that two to three inch rainfall total up and down the I 95 corridor with four or more inches over down the shore. So, your storm disruptions, what will impact you? Travel delays, huge. Big impact. I'm sure travel, whether it be a car or your flight, that's all going to be high impact. Power outages, moderate impact. So make sure you are prepared for that. Charge your devices tonight. There's no, you know, nothing going on out there right now. Get that done in case your power goes out. Sports delay, sure. The Phillies tomorrow afternoon, I think that's unlikely. And Pat, did they cancel? They didn't cancel that game yet, did they? Not yet. Okay. Uh, they probably will. Flying debris, we'll call that low, but with the winds going around gusting 30 to 40 miles per hour, that's going to be problematic. And then last but not least, the temperatures. We're topping out in the mid to low 60s. All that in the low 60s. It's going to feel pretty raw. 68 down the shore, 57 for the Lehigh Valley. So obviously we are on weather alert for our day tomorrow. Sunday, while rainy, and I walked you through that, not quite as windy, not quite as bad as tomorrow. We're going to keep some showers in there for Monday and Tuesday. Guys, well, midweek, things will be a little bit nicer, but just know that we're going to be here all day tomorrow covering the storm. Thank you, sir.